Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang permutation with similar objects. Sa mga nakaraang lesson on permutation, okay. pinag-aaralan natin ang permutation ng mga objects kung sila ay distinct. Kapag sinabi natin distinct, ibig sabihin on ay iba-iba. Ngayon, i-consider natin kung paano natin i-arrange ang lahat ng objects kung ilan sa mga ito ay magkakapareho. So, let us first illustrate permutation with similar objects. Consider the letters of the word ana. Mayroon itong parehong objects which is the letter A. So, kapag pinagpalit natin itong letter A na ito, madidistinguish ba natin na nagpalit talaga sila? Siyempre, hindi natin sila madidistinguish. Kapag nai-arrange natin ang letters of the word ana, na i-consider natin na magkaiba sila, so lagyan natin ng A sub 1 at saka A sub 2, Para malaman natin na nagkapalit talaga sila, then we have a sub 1, a, a sub 2, that is the first arrangement, a sub 2, n, a sub 1, second arrangement, a sub 1, a sub 2, n, the third arrangement, a sub 2, a sub 1, n, n, a sub 1, a sub 2, and n, a sub 2, a sub 1. So, ibig sabihin, mayroon tayong 6 different arrangements kung magkakaiba ang ating objects. Okay? Kung i-consider natin na magkaiba ang letters na A. Ngayon, dahil magkapareho naman talaga sila, tatanggalin natin ngayon yung mga subscript niya. Then we have ANA, ANA, AAN, AAN, NAA, and NAA. Kung inyong mapapansin, mayroon tayong arrangements na magkapareho. Na i-highlight ko sila. Okay? So that means mayroon lamang tayong tatlong arrangements instead of six. So, six different arrangements kung ang lahat ng letters ay magkakaiba. Pero dahil may letters tayo na magkakapareho, naging tatlo na lamang ito. Meron tayong formula na dapat tandaan sa pagkuha ng permutation of objects wherein some of the objects are similar. So, we have P is equal to N factorial over R sub 1 factorial times R sub 2 factorial and so on times R sub N factorial wherein itong nasa denominator natin, ito yung mga objects na magkakapare-pareho. For example, we have the letters of the word ana. So, alam naman natin na uh, meron tayong three different arrangements. So, gamitin natin ang formula at tingnan natin kung talagang tama ang sagot natin. So, ang n natin is the total number of objects. So, sa word na ana, mayroon tayong tatlong objects. A, N, at saka A. So, N is equal to 3. Itong A na ito ay ang similar objects natin. So, mayroon tayong dalawang letter A. Okay? So, ito ay magkapareho, kaya A is equal to 2. So, we have P is equal to 3 factorial. Ito yung N natin by substitution. Dahil isa lang naman yung letter natin na may kapareho, we only have over 2 factorial. Ito yung A natin. So, kapag naisimplify natin ito, ang sagot natin ay 3. Example number 1. How many ways can the letters of the word algebra be arranged? Step 1. Count the total number of objects and objects that are similar. Okay, so bilangin natin ang letters ng word na algebra. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, n is equal to 7. At ang letter naman na may kapareho ay isa lamang, which is letter A. So, A is equal to 2 dahil dalawa ang ating letter A. Step number 2, substitute into the formula and solve. So, isa substitute natin itong n is equal to 7 at a is equal to 2. So, we have p is equal to 7 factorial, ito ang ating n. And we only have 2 factorial sa denominator dahil isa lang naman yung letter na may kapareho. So, we have 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. So, cancel natin itong 2 factorial. Ang sagot natin kapag na-multiply ito ay 2,520. Let's have the second example. How many ways can the letters of the word statistics be arranged? Step number 1, count the total number of objects and objects that are similar. So, sa word na statistics, mayroon tayong 10 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mayroon tayong 3 letters na may kapareho. Yung S natin ay tatlo, ang T natin ay tatlo rin, at ang I natin ay dalawa. 
Pagkatapos, isasubstitute natin ito sa formula at isosolve. So, we have P is equal to 10 factorial, ito ang ating N, over 3 factorial, ito yung S, 3 factorial again, ito yung letter T, and we have 2 factorial, ito yung ating I. And then, 10 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial. And then, in-expand natin yung dalawa. So, 3 times 2 times 1, ito yung isang 3 factorial. And 2 times 1, ito yung 2 factorial. So, cancel yung 3 factorial. Kapag na-simplify natin ito, ang sagot ay 12,600. Next, example number 3. In how many ways can you arrange four identical math books, three identical English books, and two identical science books on a shelf? So dito, in-emphasize na ang mga books natin ay identical or may kapareho. Step 1, count the total number of objects and objects that are similar. So mayroon tayong apat na math books, tatlong English books at dalawang science books na magkakapareho ang bawat subject so n is equal to 9 and then yung math natin ay apat kasi pare-pareho sila English ay tatlo at ang science naman ay dalawa next step 2 substitute into the formula and solve so we have p is equal to 9 factorial ito yung ating n over 4 factorial, yan ang M natin, yung math books, 3 factorial, English books, and 2 factorial, science books. So, 9 factorial is equal to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1, this is 3 factorial, and then 2 times 1 is 2 factorial. So, iniwan ko itong 4 factorial na hindi naka-expand para makancel na siya rito. Okay, sa numerator. So, kapag na-simplify natin ito, ang sagot ay 1,260. For the last example, a test is made up of 10 multiple choice questions. 2 questions have the answer A, 5 have the answer B, 2 have the answer C, and 1 have the answer D. How many answer sheets are possible? Step 1, count the total number of objects and objects that are similar. So, based on the problem, mayroon tayong 10 questions. So, n is equal to 10. And then, tatlo sa mga questions na ito ay may sagot na letter A. Kaya, A ay identical. So, tatlo. Ang questions naman na may letter B ay apat. At ang questions na letter C ang sagot ay dalawa. Hindi ko na nilagay dito ang letter D kasi wala naman siyang kapareho. Next step, substitute into the formula and solve. So, we have P is equal to 10 factorial. Ito yung ating N is equal to 10. And then, we have the denominator 2 factorial. Ito yung A times 5 factorial. Ito ang B times 2 factorial. Ito yung ating C. And then, we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. In-expand ko ang 10 factorial over 5 factorial. Iniwan ko siya na hindi naka-expand para makancel ito. And then, times 2 times 1, ito yung 2 factorial. And another 2 times 1, ito yung isa pang 2 factorial. So, cancel yung 5 factorial. At kapag na-simplify natin ito, ang sagot ay 7,560. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Goodbye!